U.S. dollar rallies but gives up gains against yen. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XNS, the world's leading retail brokerage firm offering ultra-fast execution and no overnight fees. Look for a link in the description below. The U.S. dollar initially rallied a bit during the early hours on Tuesday, but did get back the gains as we reached towards the 145 yen level. If we can break above the 145 yen level, then the next barrier will be the 50-day EMA. Short-term pullback should be buying opportunities, especially near the 142 yen level. In general, this is a market that is a very noisy bottoming pattern, and I think a situation where things will be uh, noisy and, and difficult, but the interest rate differential between the United States and uh, Japan continues to favor the greenback, and you do continue to get paid to hang on to this pair. The volatility, of course, will be rather brutal, but it normally is. After we had seen the massive sell-off due to the Bank of Japan pretending like they were hawkish, uh, this is to be expected as the market tries to sort out everything that's going on. The question now is, just how much will the Federal Reserve be cutting rates? Because, quite frankly, they will stoke inflation if they keep it up. And at that point, uh, we could have major issues where they have to really tighten rates. So all things being equal, I do think we eventually rally, but I also recognize that this is going to be a situation that's going to take some time to play out. If we get a close below the 140 yen level, that would be extraordinarily negative. But right now, it does look like we've got quite a bit of fight left in this pair. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.